All right, Chad, just talk about the day. Uh, sophomores moving in today, freshmen tomorrow. Just talk about the day, of, the day as a whole. Real excited to be able to bring students on campus. Of course, you know, with everything that's going on, this is a very exciting time. Uh, to be able to bring them on campus because of that reason, but also because it's the, the start of a new school year and, and very exciting all the way around. Well, talk about the challenges that you guys are faced with this year uh, with COVID and some of the measures in place to uh, help with today. Well, of course, it, 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 the virus brings on a lot of different challenges, things that we've never encountered before. Um, so every day is a different challenge. Uh, we're not real sure what, what the next day may bring. Uh, but as far as some changes that we've implemented, a lot of decisions were made. A, a lot of people put in a lot of hours to make these decisions. But some, some small things that, uh, as you know, add up to big things. Some things that we did were uh, add hand washing or hand sanitizing stations uh, in, in many different places throughout the college. We're asking uh, during move-in that students only bring two parents or two guardians, so a student plus two. Um, we're adding bi-weekly room checks to assist with the cleanliness of the rooms. And um, just, just students, some self-reporting uh, things that, that they can download on their phone that will help with uh, identifying those students that are not feeling well and also some contact tracing. Um, elements within that that app as well all right if you got a piece of advice for uh the students as after they move in what would that be ask uh if you're not sure about what's going on or where you need to be ask somebody feel free to come by the housing department uh, if it's not related to housing that's okay we will point you in the right direction all right dr allen first of two move-in days this weekend just talk about the day as a whole well, you know, it's always great when we have students back on campus. With COVID, it's, it's been something I've probably missed more than anything is having our students on campus. So it's exciting to have them coming back in, moving in, bringing all of those items that they normally bring with them for our, to our residence halls, and to get to experience them being on campus in the, in the cafeteria with us and then going to class on Monday. So it's an exciting weekend. Well, we talked about Chad, or we talked to Chad about some of the uh, things that have been put in place with the dorms. So let's talk about some of them for move-in day, then also just some of the key ones uh, once they moved in. You know, we've been able to uh, put a limit on the number of guests that are, are, are family members that are helping with the move-in, requiring masks. And, and of course, I have my mask here, so we're requiring masks. Um, of course, we have our hand sanitation stations up. We've got um, some faculty, I'm sorry, not faculty, but we have some staff there on, on site with them to provide assistance. Our housing office is open, our bookstore is open, along with our Starbucks coffee shop inside. So it's a really a, still a great day, just it looks a little different because we've also spread things out. So we have just sophomores today, freshmen tomorrow. We've already had a band and um, our sports teams have moved in through the week. So we've been able to spread things out to try to de-densify that move-in experience to keep everybody safe. Once everybody's here, classes start Monday. What piece of advice can you give uh, for our new faces? Well, as always for students, my number one piece of advice is to go to class. Always go to class. That's the first key to success. Get to class a little bit early because it's going to be new, trying to find your way around campus. Of course, we'll have faculty and staff out on campus helping students find their way at all of our locations. We're excited about those first day experiences, but also bring your mask. We already have the rooms distance, physically distance, so we can keep people separated as much as possible. We've got some new experiences with Zoom classes that are face-to-face -face one day, Zoom the next, so that you can Zoom in, live stream that class. And then we have some face-to-face -face hybrids where you'll be online one day and face-to-face -face the next. And then we have our regular face-to-face -face classes and as always, our online classes. But we wanna give every student at least 50% or more of their face-to-face -face class actually face-to-face -face and still keep people safe and healthy by de-densifying that class. Brought to you by Renaissance Bank, the bank that understands you. Learn more at renaissancebank.com.